guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we are here with the finale of Superman and Lois. Uh, Aaron, this is a long time coming, because not only is this the end of this show, um, you can kind of say it's kind of the end of an era for DC on the CW, and going all the way back to the WB, because the WB had Smallville, I think, in 2001. So this is 23 years of DC on this. On was this the WB the network? Yeah, the WB was the network, and then oh. it changed to CW. Okay. I'm yeah. saying, because like, uh, WB owns all that, I yeah. know, and CW is with that. So but. I've been watching DC on this channel for quite some time, and uh, <laughs> I think this is, at the very least for now, this is the end. So Well, good. So it started with Superman and ends with Superman. Yeah. Well, but hopefully I, it doesn't end with Superman... In ending, I don't know, because we did have a poll last time. Sure, yeah. The no, poll we, was. We could have it where like it started with, like, oh, Superman's here and learning yeah. his powers, and now he's no more Superman. Let's go ahead and jump right into the poll. All right, the poll was, will Superman die again? <laughs> we had 32% of people say death of Superman, but 67% say Superman lives. Okay. I hope he doesn't die because he died already, but it looks really bad, and now we have, like, doomsday, doomsday. You know what I mean? Him dying would be too sad. I couldn't cope with it. Yeah. Uh, Superman will die because Clark is losing his powers and can't continue being Superman. But Superman's got super kids who will become Superman, but they won't be as powerful as Superman. But Superman's an idea that can never die. Confusing question. I'm getting lasagna. What? That's what they said. And I approve of I thought, everything. I thought you were just going to go kill Lasagna. <laughs> I'm done. They already did Death of Superman. They wouldn't do it twice, right? Right? The thing you wouldn't expect. Uh, the only reason I don't think they'll kill Clark again is because of Sam's sacrifice. I know that uh, also their way of writing the character off the show, but they still made it so impactful and meaningful. I feel like it'd be a mistake to sort of throw that away. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of There's some really but long comments in there, too. There's been so many good things since that's happened, and there the has. story's been so good, and, I and there's been such a connection, and there's been a chance for him to say goodbye to people. Yeah. You know? Sam didn't have, like, all those connections to people. The only people he had was, like, Lois and the kids. There's know? been a lot of development, the most being Doomsday's <laughs> chin. Uh, you know, usually you want to give a good old pop on the chin, but you can't do that. They're too spiky. I don't know how he's going to beat them. Really? We're talking about development of Superman and the characters, and you're going to go to chins? What's wrong with that? It's like a beard. I like beards. You got a beard? We all got beards! God! Well, it's back. No, stay here, okay? Where, where, where are you going? I think you clogged last time. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Oh, John! The suit, John. Oh, shoot! Dang, John went flying. Jeez, but now anybody can die. I know. Oh. Speaking of. Oh. Good shot. Get in there, Lana. Go help. She doesn't have powers anymore. That's the other Lana. That's the other Lana. We need to bring that world here. Get Tau Ro. Yeah, Tau Ro is over there. Take cover! This Where? Get out of there! And now everyone in this town is in danger. Which is why they should leave. Now I want you to feel worse. Ooh, I thought she was to die. Like a bus just hits her, yeah. but it's doomsday. Oh, the training! In the rodeo. Uh, just last eight seconds. Oh. Oh, okay. Boys, we could really use the boys. Boys! Ah! Yes! You're not ready to fight that thing. How are you gonna stop it? I'll find a way. Dad, this is not up for debate. Together. Just keep everyone safe. Together. Yeah, you guys gotta go together. Or get Lois to talk him down again. I don't think that'll work. Spear's too mighty. Where's your father? He took off with that thing. You have to help him. We tried. He won't let us. It's fighting all over the county. Ah! Was there? No. Oh, well, that. there was a helicopter. Boy. Gotta go. God, that's so cool. Oh, I love them taking off together. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Holy shit! Man, his his go-to move is throw him on the ground and beat him. It's a good move. Dude, they hit him and it worked. Yeah, he, and you need you need to help Clark. Help him. But Dad said to help him. Fuck what he said. Fraternals. Yeah, twins. Fraternals. Power <laughs> activate. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, one. Laser on the 
Yes, I know. Behold the power of four eyes! Which way do you go? Oh, I hope they, I don't want them to die either, man. You sure you're okay? Next it got melted. Yeah, that's right. By the boys. Is there anything else? Everything is at the DOD. Except for the prototype now we're working on. What's it do? It attaches to anything metal or kryptonite nearby. And then? Boom. Oh. You're only gonna get one shot at this. What are you gonna use? Something that makes a bigger bone. Clark. Hammer time. Clark, please, you have to wake up. Oh, damn. It's chasing the boys. The boys do not live in a bubble anymore. They live in the real world with real threats. They're not ready. Alone, sure, but they have each other. And they have you, and that's going to have to be enough. And they can hear you when you talk. It's time you finally accept you can't do this on your own anymore. Yeah. He doesn't have to. Yeah. We have an idea. Hammer time! Father, the sons, and the holy hammer. <laughs> oh, this, he's got to run. Oh, the speed! Through the trees. Return yeah. the Jedi. Lure that thing to Main Street. When you get to me, split off. I'm so proud of you boys. We're flying together. Ducks fly together. All right, what's the plan? Oh, look at his cape. Oh, he's got a wind up that punch, man. One punch, man. Here's the helicopter. What's the thing doing? Split off. Watch that claw thingy. Oh, Cut. <laughs> Seems like a broken neck and, and skull. skull yeah. All right, tear him to pieces. Yep, start kicking him. Nice work. Is it dead? For now. For now. Want to just come back stronger? Yep. Not if I get it to the sun first. I told you about the sun! I believed you. This is going to work. The sun, Eric, the sun. Praise the sun. Throw him in the sun. Go! This might be his last time seeing his family, Aaron. Give him time. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. How far's the sun? Uh, mm -hmm. 90 mm -hmm. million miles. Once Luther realizes that thing is gone, he's gonna come after us. All of us. I'm resigning from Luther Corps first thing tomorrow. You can have your shares back. That won't be necessary. He's about to kill you. Goodbye, Amanda. Oh, come on, boys. Did I get her? They got it right. I think so. It looks like back to Smallville. Oh, to Coruscant. I should have listened to you. That doesn't matter right now. If Luke <sighs> tried to kill you once, he's gonna try again. So you're gonna tell the world the truth about what Luke yeah. has done. That suit has been totally upgraded. It is laced with kryptonite, the weapons have been improved, and Milton is on comms to troubleshoot. Milton? Milton Fine. Milton Fine. Lex's tech expert. That's the guy who stole my suit. Where is he? Let's go beat up that nerd. I'll go get him. <laughs> Throw him in the sun. Uh, the heat. Clark, you can sit in the just you sit in the sun. Clark should be getting stronger, right? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Huh? Some sense into him. He's gonna take himself out. Oh, dude, this place is disintegrating a little bit. <sighs> that poor Clark, man. He had a rough life. And everything was square themed. It was yeah, imagine playing basketball. Target acquired. All right, boys. Your first Lex Luthor fight. Fighting the suit that they couldn't be before. <clears throat> Jeez. That wasn't a 
a screw, was it? Ah! Oh, dang, there's a missile. Lasers, laser, now, go! And you can't laser when you can't breathe. Can you not? Can't breathe, you can't fight. Can't stand, you can't fight. Charging up. Look at him healed. Open up your chest. Okay. No. It's Sam's heart. You can't withstand it. <laughs> oh, he can hear back in Earth. Jordan. That's a long... How does sound even travel Dude. through space? Because he's got a little power up from the sun. It's me you want, not him. I think we're past the point of this just being about us, Lois. You are such a coward. Wearing a war suit to fight my 16-year-old son? He's your son with powers. powers. Clark didn't have powers when he beat your ass all over the yeah! street. Yeah! Shut your own. Yes! You're so afraid of a woman that you have to lash out at everyone but her? I will kill you right here. Then do it! Oh, fuck, Lois. I am not afraid of you, but you have always been terrified of me. Time to die, Lois! Uh-oh. Boom time! Ah! It wasn't the biggest boom I thought it would be. We're not done. Yeah, but ooh, a little shorted out. Chest a little wobbly. You can't stop me! No, but he can. A lot of time. Greetings from the Sam! <laughs> Him to Superman versus Lex Luthor in a suit, Eric. And he's a little weakened. We have never seen this in live action, have we? No. <laughs> oh, don't get hit by that. Oh, I said don't. I said don't. God damn, he didn't listen to you. Oh, yeah. it's, it's screwing in. Oh. Hey, John. Uh. Hey, John, wake up. He got hit by that missile. Come on, Fraternals. Wake up! That. Be careful. Come on. You can't die. Wake up! Wake up! His eyes are. Oh! Did his tear hit him and explode? What happened? I think he just had so much kinetic energy when he was doing that it shocked him. It's clear, you know. Please don't leave me. I promise I won't. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank God this storm's oh, out here. Oh, gosh. The death of Superman. Not something you see every day. Come on, John. Find this melting guy. Yeah, hey, D.O.D. I can always watch this later. <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> so my suit. Punch up your suit. Um, could you maybe describe it for me? <laughs> Ow. Damn! Why won't you die? Oh, that thing in his chest. Can't pull it out. Oh, Clark. Oh, damn. <laughs> he still has two of them in him, right? I told you before, Luther. You will never. Dude, his suit fix himself already. Oh, come for another. He went You're so far. Another for you. I don't want to piss off Clark Kent. My town. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll go at him again. But all that ends. Right now! Dang, man. He's so mad. This is epic, dude. Failure. Oh, the sonic burst! <laughs> it knocked That's so cool! It knocked <laughs> He's broke that suit. Oh, my gosh. You see? He's just a man. Oh, that was so epic. Let him. Ah, oh, you're so. Oh, I forgot you're super. Save him just before. <sighs> but let all the metal fall on him. <laughs> you know, I'm still giving him a good slap. <laughs> okay. It's over. It's over. Okay. I'm worried. It feels like there's so much episode left. But this feels good. Let's go kick him. 
Everyone should get a kick. So One saying. year Whoa. later. Oh my god, okay. Chuck. Wait, whose wedding are we at? I'm gonna guess. What? Chuck? I'm gonna guess. Uh, yeah, Chuck was in the audience. I'm gonna guess Lana. Oh, no. Clark. Oh, they got oh, a baby. Got a baby on the way, huh? Good job, Clark. Lois is the minister. In the barn again. In the barn. The barn man gets a lot of action. Yeah, they need to sell. They need to like rent it out for parties. Lana, of course I'd heard stories about you from Clark, but it wasn't until we moved to Smallville that I really understood why he loved you so much. You were there for me during my battle with cancer. <sighs> Clip show. You were there for our family when Clark was taken from us. And you have always been there for this community. You, Mayor Lang, are the best of Smallville. Since you arrived in our world, my life has never been the same. And now I can't imagine it without you. What you have endured. What you were willing to sacrifice. To make a world that was not your own safe. You truly are a man of steel. Steel. <laughs> oh, is that the other daughter? Oh, damn. Yeah. She is alive. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> I'm no doctor, but it looks to me like you're having another oh, boy. Another? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought you were saying when you were like, oh, baby. Yeah. But you meant the baby, baby, huh? Baby, baby. Now, all I ever wanted was for you to be happy. I'm happy, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. One more dance? <sighs> I don't want it to end. Yeah, I know. There's a reception going on for your mom right now. <laughs> what you doing out here? You kidding? That barn is cursed. <laughs> if I stay in there too long, that whole wedding might blow up. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Being a hero, are you where you want to be? Yeah, how's that been? <clears throat> yeah. I am. I love seeing him certain. I know. Like smiling, not seeming just worried and... Everything okay, boo? I think mom would be happy to know we're okay. Yeah. Me too. I know this isn't where we came from, but it feels like home. Yeah. <sighs> what do you think Superman and Lois Lane will be remembered for? I'd like to think truth and justice. And a better tomorrow. And some of the best DC's ever been. Denied his appeal to being, damn. Back to Strikers. Oh. <clears throat> Luther was denied his appeal. We did it. He tried to kill everybody in Smallville. Like, did you try to murder everyone in Smallville? Yes. Did you unleash a giant monster? Feel denied. I'm still right. That you like the same arrangements as your last day. Yes. I did receive that. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. <sighs> Good. Just a normal cell? Nothing special? Things have changed around here. 1A. Sir. Thanks, William. Manheim. <laughs> like the warden said, a lot's changed around here. <laughs> the man in charge needs a good chair. And you, Alexander, you're gonna make a hell of a chair. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I died, there was nothing but darkness. And then suddenly, I came back. The first time? 
and the heart he gave me. I lived for 32 more years. He's gonna come back. Once I get my heart inside him, I'll be there too. 32 more years of life on this world. After Luther was defeated, I started thinking about my legacy, about what I wanted to leave behind. Yes. And the thing I knew was <laughs> I needed help. Yes. And help from my family. Oh, oh steel. Good friends. <laughs> look, they look so great. Oh, I love it. You little dean. And even help from former enemies. <clears throat> the last 20 years trying to save the world. Now I want to help fix Anaheim? it. Anaheim? Yeah. I didn't want to just be a hero that saves people. I wanted to connect with them. Yeah. To change their lives for the better. We weren't able to solve all the world's problems. Far from it. But over time, we helped push the needle in the right direction. We gave people a sense of hope. Something that had been missing for far too long. At home, life was good. The years continued to pass as Lois and I got older. The boys grew up. Oh, you're so cool. Oh, you guys are so cool. Both John and Jordan got married. Little Our kids. Been. It was such a joy to be around. Lois and I felt incredibly lucky. And Lois was always there, right by my side. For the rest of her life, we never spent a day apart. This is perfect. Then, Lois's cancer came back. Only this time, it was too much. It was hard seeing her so weak, knowing she was dying. It's okay. <laughs> I love you, Claire. Everything good in my life it came from you. But in that moment, <clears throat> right as she passed, something happened that I will never forget. Daddy. <laughs> Friends would stop by most days to check up on me. Jordan came by almost every day. <laughs> and being by myself in the home we shared for so long, that was really tough. So, I got a dog. <laughs> Crypto. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good boy. Seriously. How had I never had a dog before? <clears throat> Crypto and I, we did a <laughs> lot of walks Crypto. together. They named him. And then, just like that, Are you okay, buddy? my heart gave out. Torque? The irony is, it was almost exactly where my dad died. Somebody call 911! The second time I died was so much different than the first. We saw what, we heard what she saw, <clears throat> what did he see? It was amazing. <clears throat> the feeling that washed over me, I... I can't begin to describe it. It came to me. What life is all about. Hope. It's a lot of super babies. <laughs> Forgiveness. 
<laughs> Wonder. <laughs> Family. <laughs> love. Yeah, there's a lot of love. I was waiting on love. God, she's beautiful. Jesus. <laughs> I came to this world alone. But when I left it, I had so much. And it was all because of love. He wrapped in his cape. <laughs> because life, it goes by so fast. Well, that was just okay. Shut up. <laughs> That's a great, what a great ending. I love an ending that makes you want to just cancel the rest of your plans for the day and go home and hang out with people that you love. You know? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Not that I don't love you and wouldn't I want to hang out with you. Wouldn't it be nice just like, you don't have to work, you can just do all the things you want to do with the people you care about? <sighs> I mean, I sometimes feel that's how my life is, but... Yeah. No, I get what you mean. Ah, man, that, that it, ending it, hit me so hard. It's not what I was expecting the ending to be either. Uh -huh. Like, you know? Yeah, I, I, I don't think I could have asked for anything better. I did not anticipate that, like, oh, well, we Superman won't die, but yeah. you know what we're going to do? We're going to jump ahead to yeah. the, his death. <laughs> Will we see Superman die again? <laughs> the poll actually was correct. We will. <clears throat> uh, man, that, that ending hit me so hard. Uh, oh, yeah. With the cancer coming back, with crypto with you know like it's a very personal feeling for me but like my mom died from cancer she had she went into remission the year that she had without cancer was such an amazing time and then like you know my dad lives in the house that they lived in for 35 years or whatever he he got a dog <laughs> yeah golden sure. retriever and that's his life he 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 does what he wants to do and he watched sunsets with his dog you know, so that ending hit me like so hard, like it was like a hammer cracking my neck, like Doomsday God. That's how much it hit me. No, no, no just yeah, everything with the Lois and stuff and the kids and everything too was yeah, just, like yeah, you, I'm, especially with the kids and stuff having relations, really, seeing them grow up, <laughs> and then having their kids too. Yeah, all that stuff was great. Clever way to <laughs> show their superhero outfits without probably having to actually make them. Yeah, <laughs> just you know. Yeah, that shot was so cool too. Yeah, it was. See, like all of them flying together. Yeah, I thought the Clark punching Lex out of his suit amidst the storm was going to be the best shot, but seeing Steel with his cape, <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> the Man of Steel. Yeah, all these outfits are so cool. Like, look at their suits. Jordan and Jonathan look so sweet. Jonathan's kind of like the one from the other world, right? Yeah, a little bit. But the S's are a little different. You know, we got yeah, two Superboys, the, the Steel. Red and black is so cool looking. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad, too, Jordan found, like, a little bit more, like, I don't know, solidity. <laughs> you know, like, this, there's so his, much self-doubt and stuff that he'd he always have confidence. in everything. Yeah, and, like, definitely. having that there in that last little moment talking with uh, Sarah, mm -hmm. like, he, he looked happy he didn't look like he was doubting everything yeah they're talking about the hero business he didn't especially like this episode having him and john work together against like doomsday with saving people with all that kind of stuff like yeah just being like look you can't just sit on the sidelines anymore and expect john and your dad to do it you got to get in there yeah. it's just awesome to see them grow up and do that oh but no um doomsday fight was fun yeah. like i enjoyed them getting a chance to do that mm -hmm. and i think you're right i don't think live action has had a lex suit Thing for versus four. Superman. I mean, John Cryer kind of had one, right? And in, in, plus, uh, yeah, and even if whatever he did there was still against Supergirl, yeah, you know, yeah. it wasn't against Superman. Yeah. So they so, did have that I in there. Is, I think this is the first live action one. So we right. got that, which is really cool. We got a little bit of a charge sun up power. Even a moment to say goodbye to Bizarro Superman from the other world who nice. had a terrible life. Yeah. You know, like. That was awesome. At least on our Earth, his yeah. terrible life. I don't know. I don't remember what all exactly happened over there, but. I love that Lex Luthor was in Clark's afterlife dream. 
Well, I like. I loved that so much. The messaging he had there of like what life is really about and all yeah. these points, but putting that there with forgiveness was so good to have yeah. him sit down. It wasn't even like he walked over and just patted him. He sat down with him for a second. Yeah. You know? And like even acknowledged, like, this is hard to do, but I forgive you. And it's, and the, it's like a life flashing before your eyes kind of moment almost, yeah. too, of like when he's passing, he's seeing all the things he cares about, the things he doesn't. Does he regret anything? Does yeah. he forgive everybody? Like in that moment, Nothing matters. I love all these people. I forgive all the stupid shit that we went through. You know, like yeah. that's that's what it felt like he had there versus his last death. And I love the comparison of the two deaths of of Superman. Yeah, me too. Lois was beautiful in this so many times. <laughs> like I love that dress when they reveal that and <laughs> she's in that red dress. But also her there at the wedding was great too. And like talking about like her and like Lana helping her with cancer and everything too. Like lots of times when people have breast cancer, they don't. Like, she was like, I'm going to wear this with this yeah. window here. And I'm like, oh, I'm so yeah. glad she did that. It's so cool. Yeah. Awesome for her. I loved it. Really sad that we don't get any more of this. This show was know. so good. I think it was the best I saw on CW, like, just consistently. There was some great moments in Arrow. There were some great moments in Flash. But, like, consistently for four seasons, I think this show did really well. All four seasons. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it drugged. Yeah. It also had shorter seasons, which I think helped it a lot. Sure. Yeah, it did. This one especially uh, was the smallest amount of episodes, right? Ten? Ten. Yeah. No, I mean, my brain and my heart conflict because, you know, like my brain understands the difference, but my heart feels like 23 years ago I got to see the beginning of Clark Kent and then... <laughs> yeah, and this wraps up, it literally does. Like that was him coming to Earth, all that stuff, right? And then becoming Superman and now you get to jump here. Yeah. If, if it would have been a... Uh, if some, if it would have been closer together and the same character, like this would have been really, really good bookends. I mean, too, you know? yeah, but like for me, you know, and I, I definitely understand the feeling of wanting to like, you know, this is my favorite Superman f since Christopher. Re you know, like yeah. I, I want to be able to say that, but I don't really feel that. Like I, 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 there's room in my heart for all Supermen. You know, like there's reasons I like a lot of them. There's reasons I, you know, dislike certain parts of them and stuff. But this one has so consistently touched my heart. Mm. You know, like you can get hyped for Superman. I can get hyped for Superman super easy, but it's not as easy to touch my heart every episode. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> dude, Lois is so good. The kids, yeah. the kids felt good throughout the whole great. series. You know, yeah. how many kids have we had where it's like, man, cut away from this. I don't want to yeah. see this, but it always, I know. it always worked. Always worked. <laughs> Except for I guess Sophie. Is that her name? <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even sure if that's her name. Uh, I think it's her name, and that was Lana's middle name, so I'm assuming it's right. Last time we saw her but, was at a wedding in the bar, too. But, like, <laughs> she was the one where it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. there is another kid, but eh. Yeah. Rather than that. I mean, that's just a, that's from a long lineage of t television shows having their child actors in the background. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I like that John got, I, honestly, I like the John-Lana wedding getting yeah. a chance to happen. Like yeah. you said, like, their, their loss of their world. Not yeah. just, like, him losing, you know his Lois and stuff but they lost their world and the fact that they can both like them standing there in the farm looking yeah. at the stars being like this feels like home yeah the end so of the good. world doesn't have to be the end of their lives yeah, yeah I get you I love great that. stuff you know the show also survived a huge recasting on Jonathan's part and I like <laughs> both of those kids that played that, that role yeah both of them were really good there was a moment in this episode where I was like dang man I forgot that this kid was recasted <laughs> you know like it doesn't I thought it would, like, sometimes they really stand yeah. out, but it... it I they, didn't think about it at all when they were like, Fraternals! So I was like, yeah! You know, I just saw two characters. I didn't see actors there. Yeah. yeah. No, but no, Good both stuff. kids that played John, kids that played Jordan was great. Uh, yeah, they're I love Nat. Yeah. Sarah was great. The, the townspeople of Smallville. Chuck. Not even, not even just Chuck, but yes. Uh, the, Chuck the, is a stand-in for all the people, good good people of Smallville. Like, like this season, I really like the girl who worked at the little yeah, shop, yeah, you know, shop. like that stuff. Yeah. Uh, whatever her, Macy May or whatever her name was, the diner and stuff, you know, like yeah. the the stuff they did with that and their fandom that grew. But uh -huh. then like them taking that fandom and that celebrity status and building a foundation to like, I love Superman being like. I've been saving the world. Yeah. I want to fix the world. Yeah, that's what I, I want. My legacy, not to just be like I saved a bunch of people and they live now. That was amazing. I want to be like I made the world better, not I saved what I could of the world. You yeah, know? And I, I love that. And he didn't save the world with, so we can stay the same. He changed the world so we can make it better. Yeah, and like I love the idea of like teaming up with Mannheim, where like yeah. Mannheim's whole thing was like people. 
like you saved people all over the place, but no one cared about this place, mm-hmm. you know? These people were poor and downtrodden and, yeah. you know, and like Mannheim. I love that scene with them. That was so good. Yeah. It's like, he's serious? It's like, yeah. It's like, all right, Superman. You know? <laughs> and dude, those Kryptonian jeans, like, he aged pretty gracefully. Yeah. Like, he just, he got a little gray and put on a sweater, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it looked great. Do you think all their grandbabies are like little super powered or like a little weaker super powered? Maybe probably? a little, maybe a little weaker. It like they all got one power. Like this one's fast. This Ooh. one can fly. That's a super strength. Yeah, I don't know. You get like a little like group yeah. that can do stuff. I hope they all get to go to the fortress and it's not the fortress of solitude anymore. It's fortress Kent or something. I don't what's know what's what the word act, like opposite of solitude that works? <laughs> community. Fortress of community or something like that. The community center. But I hope they all get to go and chat with their alien grandma. <laughs> yeah. But no, like and so. they can go chat with Clark too, because his consciousness is there as well, isn't it? Should not not his consciousness, be. but a, at least the, a copy of the it. computer yeah. AI mm-hmm. thing, where it's like I can tell you all the things I knew, <laughs> kind of thing, right? Yeah. They didn't really address his uh, power dilation as you know he gets weaker as he how weak did he get? Like I assume that. After the fight with Luther, he probably that was probably like his last great I mean, exertion. The scene with them flying and stuff, like yeah. he still got some power at least, you know. Yeah, some, yeah. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. But the idea of having all five of them, yeah. and even the the two in the back have a little S on their chest too, don't they? They do. That's really cool. Yep. But like them working together, mm-hmm. like I love when Lois was like, "You got to realize you can't do this alone anymore," because yeah. he was like, "I got to protect my kids." Yeah. <clears throat> um. I guess now that the show's over, I can finally go into what I thought was going to be a theory. So, Milton... What you thought was going to be a theory? <laughs> uh, it's like a theory, but I was like, I don't want to say it, because what if it happens? If it I don't want to ruin it for Aaron. Milton Fine is a character from Smallville. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's played by James uh, Marsters? Brainiac. Brainiac. Yeah, Milton Fine is Brainiac in that show. So, like, whenever they had Milton show up, and he was getting a little bit more, like, prominent, I was like, could this be, like, a secret Brainiac? thing going on here and like that's what's gonna be the twist at the end I'm glad it didn't because that would have replaced this which is perfect yeah but there was just a part of me that was like I kept going like Milton Fine Milton Fine I know that name gotcha. <laughs> no I didn't I, didn't I was know waiting name, for it to happen but I did remember um, Marsters being Brainiac in yeah. the last like last season no it was like second season, to last season like, no it was like season like five or six. Oh, was it yeah it was like in the middle I got Close to that, then. Yeah. No, it was like the first time Clark had, like, at least he felt like he was with another Kryptonian. Like, he thought Brainiac was just a regular Kryptonian before we realized he was a machine. Mm. Yeah. So that was before uh, Kara and that universe and stuff showed up. Gotcha. Wow. That would have been interesting. But, yeah, like, yeah. I do like what they end up doing. Yeah. A he's, lot with it. Even he's, Lex. He's a nerd that <laughs> he wouldn't have stunned on. <laughs> even Lex getting put into prison yeah. and, like, it's not the same prison you left, you know? Yeah. It's, everything's a little different now. Yeah. I like yeah. that too. And yeah, the forgiveness and like not killing Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. Like that's, but even though he did all these terrible things that he would do. I know. I mean, that's, I said it while it was happening. Like Clark is such a better person than I am because I don't know if I'd be able to do that. But I don't know if you're able to feel the feelings of peace that Clark can without having that forgiveness. You know, like if I had that resentment of Luthor in my heart, I might not be able to do this, what he does. Mm-hmm. You feel as much as he does, you know, because I'm holding myself back because I'm holding that in me, you mm-hmm. know. So, I mean, that's what Superman needs to be. He has to be an ideal to strive for, and the show just not only showed that, but it also humanized it yeah. uh, from the point of view of a father, which I don't think we've ever gotten from Superman, at least, so at least not in live action yeah, or a television show. No, I think it captured the family really well. Yeah. And, like... I love the idea of like what's it gonna be like to mm-hmm. grow up as Superman. We went with like them not knowing who he who he was, yeah. knowing who he was, them mm-hmm. both having powers. Yeah, like I love I love the the growth of all of it. Me too. And you know, not for nothing, but Blind Wave kind of got its start reacting to the Arrowverse. You know, it was one of the first things we ever did. And even though I know that there's like uh, levels of separation when it comes to this show, sure. Uh, it still feels like, at the very least, like a branch from that tree mm-hmm. that uh, is over now. Yeah. There's no more DC television from Greg Berlanti. Well, yeah, sure. To. Everything from now is going to be in Greg, James Gunn's uh, yeah. realm, right? The DCU, so. which starts this week. 
Sure, yeah. With Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos. Uh, which we'll be covering. So just because this show's over doesn't mean the DC train uh, is gone. Literally, it's the next one is coming <laughs> in a couple of days. So that's not over, but this version is. Um, and it was sublime. Yeah. Now, I don't have a whole lot of, I don't think, Superman, like... Like attachment when we started watching this stuff. Like I'd seen like the first you know couple movies of Christopher Reeve yeah. before. Um, we'd seen Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I remember watching some of uh, the Dean Cain, Superman uh, and Lois or Lois and Lois Adventures Super- of Lois, Lois and Clark or Lois something like that. Clark, yeah. Like I remember watching some of those, but uh, mm-hmm. it was always one of those things like ah Superman yeah he, you know he's he can he can, he can do anything he wants he's super powerful you yeah. can't kill him like. Whatever you yeah. know, like it's it's cool. I like Spider Man. He struggles with stuff, you know. Yeah. Like that was always one of my things. But like this show here, like really made Superman like I, one of my favorite things when watching Supergirl because I started watching that before this mm-hmm. um, was having issues where it's like yeah she's Supergirl, really strong, can beat anything, all that kind of stuff. But rather than her overcoming and finding a way to beat up something, I love when it's like I can't just beat this up. Yeah. And this dealt so well with like the family issues and stuff with having like. Uh, Mannheim or the the cancer or you know all these different things where it's like what does Superman do when it's like I can't I can't just Superman this issue away you know and uh, Tyler Hecklin I thought was great as Superman yeah and uh, I I lost Lois's name too but uh, Tullock Elizabeth Tullock Tulock Tulock let me double check sure because she deserves the respect Yeah, Elizabeth Tulick. Uh but, Yeah, I mean... But the... Uh, yeah. But no, like, Tyler Hecklin, I think, is great for Superman. I think Elizabeth has been great for um, Lois and the two of them in this show, like, just combating things that aren't just Superman beat this up. Like, even back with, like, Tauro, uh, yeah. Edge, right? Morgan <laughs> Edge? <laughs> yeah. Like, all that Morgan stuff? Edge, that yeah. ended up turning into more family-related stuff and not just, like, yeah, like beat each other right. up, right? Like. Yeah. There's all this stuff has yeah. been a, a different twist on like a lot of Superman things, yeah. and I've I've really enjoyed this. So like, I don't want to like you said before, like ranking them doesn't, but this works really well for like getting me as like I, I really like super, Superman stories and they can be done really yeah. well, you know. No, I mean I, I I don't like to rank, but I I I do enjoy the exercise and trying sure. to find a standard and stuff. And if forced to gun to my head, who is the best Lois Lane? No, yeah. But, like, this consistently... She's mine, she's mine 100%. I think just looking at, like, stories, yeah. even if you don't want to be, like, who's best Lois or best Superman, I think this has had the best Superman stories yeah. for me out of a yeah. lot of the stories. That, even would, that would be my, like, my, my standard yeah. ranking. Like, Christopher Reeve is a great Superman, but his stories are okay. Yeah. This, these stories worked for me so much more, you yeah. know what I mean? And, I mean, ranking is so personal. Christopher Reeve, like, he can't be beaten for me just because... I mean, I've said it before, like, when you went to the mall and Santa was there, that was Santa. When I went, when I saw Christopher Reeve as Superman, like he is Superman. Here I'm seeing Tyler do an amazing performance, but I'm not seeing like I don't believe he's Superman. When I was a kid, I believed that was just Superman, and I don't even know who an actor is. I don't know that what actors, what actors are, you know? Sure, yeah. That was just real for I love me. Being so, a kid not knowing that like I can't, I couldn't in good conscience place Tyler over him, but that's because I, you know, you cannot defeat the. The belief I have when I was a child, you know, but if we're changing it to like the stories and how they impacted you, mm-hmm. this is S class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I don't even have any loose ends or anything that I can think of. No, I'm I mean good. I don't have my notes with me. I can't find my tablet thing right now. But like, you notes were in here. I feel like usually a lot of times, like we get to the end of like one of these seasons, yeah. these series, and it's like, man, you know what? I always thought this, this, or this would come back. And I don't have any of those necessarily where I'm like, man, they never dealt with this again. I didn't. I don't really have anything. I mean, I would like to have seen Sam one more time, but again, like, there's probably reasons that the actor couldn't make it or something. I thought um, he died. <laughs> he was, Clark was in heaven, kind of. He could have been there. You know, I guess. I so. mean, uh, uh, Lois saw him in heaven, apparently, right? She said, "Daddy." Sure. I'm assuming that she walked through and saw him. Gotcha. You know. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't. I was not expecting to see him, but yeah. I guess people might have been like, oh, I wish and then I could just have. wanting to see the boys in a more updated suit, which I also got. Yeah, it's, it's very Clark Kent, uh, Superman, Smallville. Like, yeah, but it was a digital thing, you know. This one's a lot more convincing than that one. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that I got to see it. So yeah, with those ticked off, there's really not much else that I'd be like, oh, miss opportunity. 
No. Uh, maybe I would have recolored Superman or uh, Lex Luthor's suit a little bit differently than John Irons. Probably is the only thing I would have been like, uh, maybe do this. <laughs> they made his uh, HUD purple. His HUD, green. yeah, they did. You know, I would have put in a little bit, there. a little subtle purple, not like bright purple, but like just a little subtleness to it, you know. This Lex was pretty good too. A little different than other Lexes I've seen. I would say but, very different, but not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah, but I think it worked pretty well. When he first showed up, I'm like, man, we got a biker Lex. You yeah. Know? <laughs> like that's what we're going for here. Yeah. But he, he still, they end up shaving him and doing that, giving him more of that traditional Lex look too. Yeah. But no, I thought like. I mean, this is a Lex a who job. defines himself mm -hmm. on his hate of Superman. But yeah, and not Lois. just Superman, and maybe more so Lois. Like Lois was more his obsession, which mm -hmm. puts him apart from other uh, Lex Luthers, and they still they all have an ego problem. But I, I love Lois just egging him on, just like getting him pissed off, just to give Clark a couple more minutes to get back. I guess I thought that that little bomb thing was going to be a little bit more substantial yeah. in some way or fashion. I thought they were using it as Doomsday. Yeah. You know, because he's like, I'm gonna use something a little bit more boom. I think it's like, oh damn, what's when are we gonna use it? And I thought we were using it with a hammer, and yeah. hitting Doomsday with it, and that's what gave him the yeah. chance to throw him in the sun. But uh, utility wise, he just, he just went like this, and he was like, "Well, it, it it seems like it might have just slowed his suit down for a bit to give Clark more time, so that he could be pissed off, like, oh, fuck, I can't do anything yet." And then, then he comes in and is, I guess so. And then he's like, uh, hmm. you know, "I can't beat you up, but he can." Yeah, no, I mean, I love that. It just the bomb thing, the way John brought it in. Yeah. When he was like something with a little more boom, and yeah. I was like, "What does he mean?" Mm -hmm. But it was the hammer, I guess. I don't know. Yep. Just felt something felt weird. Then, like whenever it happened, like that's it. Yeah. I guess the prototype maybe it didn't work the way he wanted to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But no, the moment there was great for having Clark come in and finish off Lex. Yeah. And I thought about sending the boys with him, but I like mm -hmm. having Clark and Lex do the fighting. Yeah. Um, and then there's the unseen heroes. There's all the writers throughout the seasons, the visual effects artists, the the, the cast and crew that we know we we got to see a little bit uh, when uh, Clark this season. Revealed himself. Yeah. yeah. That we had so many amazing moments of like. Hanging, you know, hanging a, a lantern on the on the. That moment was so good. Glasses, making like my most annoying trait of the character one of the best scenes in the world. Uh, in in the Superman mythos, is pretty ballsy, and it, it, they really pulled it off. I think that when he revealed it to Sam, mm -hmm. right, and then like whenever we get like those moments of like Christopher Reeve changing into Superman yeah. and taking off his glasses, like. Those are both like just kind of like iconic they're, scenes. Yeah, they're both there, like magic you know? tricks. Yeah, and that, that one was, it was just so, whoosh, yeah. it was like the glare was great. And then no, that, writing wise, yes, Eric, I think the writers yeah. did such a good job on this. Oh, yeah. Like some of my favorite writing in all of the CW. <laughs> that they, that was the agree. Arrowverse stuff that we Not had. only just because, you know, the emotion and, and the, the reality the characters uh, give us, but I love the way that they will like, Oh, Captain Luther is actually John Henry Irons. And then uh, this guy's a, in a doomsday suit, but it's actually Bizarro. But actually, he is doomsday. He is doomsday. You know? We know and then, you know, Morgan Edge, but actually it's Tauro. Like, they did that a bunch, and it never got old. <laughs> sure, yeah. It never felt like, a, yeah. oh, they did it again. Yeah, uh, so I quite enjoyed that as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that was great. Mm -hmm. Th thank you for doing such good writing. Yep. And the good directing and yep. the good acting. Absolutely. And good visual effects. Uh, honestly, this is, I think it's my favorite Arrowverse related show. Just consistency across yeah. the board. I love Arrow for starting it all, and I thought it ended great, but I love what this did for everything. Hard for me to compare them, but I, thanks to Greg Berlanti and his team for all of that. Yeah, and moving your head. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed Superman and Lois with us. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, sad to see it go. Um, as Eric said, there is more DC that we have coming up, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on uh, Creature Commandos and what's coming up with that. One more thank you. More thank thing. you to Ultra Sergeant, thank who you, edited all of this. <laughs> you know? Thank all you, Ultra. Thank you, Ultra. He did, like, all the Arrowverse. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nuts? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ultra.